Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Manuel. Welcome, Luis. How are you doing? Hi, thank you. Excellent. Great. Good to hear that. All right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. I hope you're safe and sound after that storm, all right? Espero que todos se encuentren bien. Um, a pesar de que ha llovido muy fuerte, all right? Pretty, pretty strong. Um, it's good to see you in here in the class. Um, es bueno verlos aquí en la clase, ¿verdad? So let's get started. Today is Monday, April 24th, 2023. What's this? Class number five. So shall we move on? Let's check. <clears throat> to start, we have a conversation. It's called this and these, right? Today we are going to learn the use of these demonstratives. Vamos a aprender el uso de esto y estos, okay? Demonstratives, artículos demonstrativos. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we have a video from the platform. I'm gonna show it to you. Voy a mostrarles el video de la platform. So that you can have a better view of the pronunciation. So let's get started. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and can you listen the audio? Yes. Perfect, thank you. These. Before I start explaining this topic, we're gonna listen to a quick audio, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Okay. Number one, you're going to use this that spell out T H I S. Whenever you're talking about one object, which is near you, number two, you're going to use these that spell out T H E S E. Whenever you're talking about two or more objects, which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Okay, so let's pass to the PowerPoint because I think it's pretty clear for you how to use uh, this and this. But I'm also have the explanation on the PowerPoint, so don't worry. Vamos a pasar a la presentación ya para poder avanzar con la conversación, pero también les voy a explicar el uso del des y del dis, ¿ok? First of all, para iniciar, <coughs> this one se pronuncia, este que sería T-H-I-S, se pronuncia des, des. Y este, que el deletreado sería T-H-E-S-E, Se pronuncia these, these, okay, this, these, these, this, okay. So let's make a bigger for you. 
We have Wendy, Helen, and Rex. Whoa, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Uh, what are these? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. <clears throat> Okay, so basically, in other words, she didn't like. En otras palabras, no le gustaron. <laughs> okay, so now let's check the following. I'm gonna need three volunteers. Voy a necesitar tres voluntarios. Raise your virtual hand if you want to pass. Pueden levantar su mano virtual si quieren pasar. Okay, you don't wanna pass? Let me pick and choose then. Let's have Manuel de Jesus, you are Rex. Lisette Rodriguez, you are Wendy. Karen Osorio, you are Helen. Action. Wow, what this? Karen Osorio, where are you? Pensé que era Wendy. It's, it's a camera. Oh, cool. Thanks, you, Helen. It's a great. You're, you're welcome. Now open this book. Okay. Oh, what are these? <laughs> they are carrying. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. All right, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Now, let's go first with Lisette. Repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, así está correcto. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Interesting. Manuel de Jesus, repeat after me. Earrings. Yeah, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, welcome. Okay. Um, adelante, Manuel. Sorry. Earrings. Earrings. Yes. Earrings. Perfect. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome, sir. That's my job. Now, let's go with the next one. Manuel Hernandez. You are Rex. Uh, Jackie, you are Wendy. Let me check if I have another woman over here. Evelyn Flores, you are Helen. Action. Well, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open these books. Okay. Ooh, what are these? They earrings. Oh, they interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are very nice. Excellent. Thank you. The three of you, Jacqueline, repeat. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. No, interesting, no. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> vamos a ver. Don't worry. No se preocupe. A todos nos pasa. Let, <laughs> me, let me show you how. Aquí en la pantalla, en el cuadrito amarillo, se lo voy a escribir. Right. Interesting. A ver. In Interesting. That's correct. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. Imagínese Interesting. que la E y la S no están. Perdón. Imagínese que la E no está no de está. La... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome. Y esto es para todos, okay? One more time and listen. Interesting. Una vez más escucho interesting. And we're gonna stop you. Y lo voy a interrumpir en ese momento para que me digan interesting, porque la correcta es interesting. Y ya lo he repetido, right? Like five, six, seven, eight times. So interesting. Interesting, interesting. Something that it helps me a lot with my students, algo que en realidad me ayuda bastante con mis estudiantes usualmente, es ponerlos a repetir tres veces la misma palabra. But due to the fact that we are a lot of in this class, pero ya que somos bastantitos en esta clase, I can stop per each of you. No puedo parar por cada uno de ustedes y ponerles ese ejercicio, ¿verdad? Pero sí, de vez en cuando lo vamos a hacer. Cuando yo vea que sí es algo bien grave, sí lo vamos a hacer. Que tiene que ser, like, really uh, important to amend 
Now, let's go with the next one. Luis Rivas, you are Wendy. Uh, let me check. Mario Molina, you are Helen. And Jen Sivaye, you are Rex. Action. Wow, what, what is this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Oh, don't. oh good. Thank you, Helen. It's great. It's a great. You're welcome. Now, open the book. Okay. Ooh, what is it? What are these? They are earrings. They are earrings. Okay. They are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They, they are very nice. Excellent. Thank you, three of you. Okay, vamos a repetir. Luis, uh, open your microphone. Repite después de mí. It's great. It's great. Sí, aquí no tiene A, no le agreguemos la A. Solo it's great. It's, it's great. great. Yes, very it's good. great. Great. Vamos a ver. Eh, la otra, Gen Z. Box. Box. Okay, box. Okay. Sí, pero ahí escuché que me dijo books y es okay, box. Okay. Right? So, perfect. Okay. Thank you, both of you. Gracias a los tres. The three of you. Now, let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Kevin Ernesto, you are Helen. Miguel Ángel, you are Wendy. Manuel Hernández, you are Rex. Action. Whoa. What this? Now open, the, open this box. It's a camera. Oh, oh cool. cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, oh what are this? this? What are these for? They're earrings. Oh, oh they're... they're... <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Excellent. Thank you, the three of you. Very good job. That was correct. Excellent. Now, with this, what I want to tell you is, Quiero comentarles algo. No piensen que es que no se van a equivocar o que no podemos fallar en algo. That's very normal. Eso es lo más normal del mundo, ¿ok? Pero lo que vamos a aprender a hacer en esta clase también es a reconocer y a, y a, y a corregir inmediatamente el error por nosotros mismos, ¿ok? Si notaron ahí, creo que fue Manuel Hernández que le tocaba esa parte de interesting. Primero dijo interesting y luego él lo corrigió rapidito. Interesting, ¿right? Eso es lo que quiero que todos tengamos, esa, ese, esa ability, right? Ese skill de poder hacerlo así, ¿ok? So, that's not a problem, no hay ningún problema, pero lo vamos desarrollando poco a poco. That's great. Thank you, you all. Congratulations. Los felicito a todos. Muchas gracias. A todos, muchas gracias. Now, let's go with this. We use this. Yo aquí tengo completamente eh, la information que se menciona en el video, ¿ok? Para que ustedes la puedan anotar. Because tomorrow I'm going to ask you about it. Pues mañana les voy a preguntar sobre esto. <clears throat> we use this whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. For example, this is my cell phone. This is my cell phone, right? Utilizamos this cuando el objeto solo es uno y está cerca de nosotros. Okay? Now we use these when you are talking about two or more objects that are near you. De lo contrario, utilizamos eh, this si tenemos más de un objeto, es decir, dos, tres, cuatro, whatever, how much you have. Sin importar cuántos tenga, usted tiene que utilizar this, ¿ok? Tomando en consideración, taking into consideration that you have the objects close to you tomando en consideración que tienen los objetos cerca de ustedes. All right? Ambas, ambos demonstratives, ambos artículos demonstrativos eh, están hechos para hablar de objetos cerca de nosotros. 
si escucharon en el vídeo, él dijo que en otro, en otro video o en otra clase, en otro nivel, van a ver los otros dos artículos que tenemos. For example, uh, that and those. Eso y esos. All right. Esto. Estos. Eso. Esos. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, right now we only have these two. Let me know whenever you finish copying the information. Me avisan cuando finalicen de copiar la información, por favor. Remember, when you finish, let me know. You can say finish or done, miss. Okay, finished? Yeah, Manuel Hernandez says finished. He said finished, very good. Uh, okay, Kevin, you had a question. Let me know, please. Hágame su, saber su pregunta. Ah, no, era sobre, lo, sobre el ejemplo anterior. Es este, que no estaba seguro que cómo se pronunciara. Si, eh, no recuerdo cuál es. Ajá. Eh, la palabra, la segunda oración de Helen. Your. Okay, your or your or your. Uh, your. Your. Yes, your. Very good. <coughs> Excellent. Now let's move on. Vamos a ponerlos a practicar el speaking. Vamos a pedirle a Evelyn Flores. Tell me, when do we use this? We use this whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Luis Rivas, when do we use these? Your microphone, Luis. <laughs> when you use this, when you are talking about two or more objects that, that are near you. Perfect, thank you, both of you. Now, guiding examples. Let's check this ones. So we have um, this and this. It, they, plurals. Let me take out my magic wand. This is a camera. What's this? It's an earring. Cuando nos preguntan con this, Utilizamos it's para responder, porque es singular, singular. These are cameras. What are these? They are earrings. Utilizamos they are o they are when we have plurals. Okay? Contractions. It's equals it is. <coughs> they are equals they are, what's 
equals what is. Let me have um, Carlos Salvador, please read the sentences. Only the two sentences. One and two. This, this is a, cam a camera. Uh, these are cameras. Thank you. Um, vamos a ver. Mario Molina. Um, question and answers. What this? It's an earring. Repeat. What's this? What this? What's it, what this? No, this. Es como, como imagínense que tuviera una E en vez de una I. This. Okay. What this? Pero recuerde pronunciar la S. Alright. What's what, this? What's this? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. All right, don't worry, I got you. Pero ese es el propósito, que yo lo, les pueda ayudar con eso, ¿ok? okay so, okay. let's check. Vamos con la siguiente. What are these? Ay, correcto. They are earrings. That's correct. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Now, okay. let's move on to the next one. This is for everyone. It says, complete these conversations then practice with a partner creo que no tienen las conversations en el o oh, no estoy segura si tienen las conversations en la platform pero lo vamos a hacer basado en las pictures porque no hay donde perderse con las pictures ok for example number one vamos a pedirle a Jensi Valle read number one please question and answer what are these? They are keys. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Angel, number two. What's this? It's a CD player. That's correct. Thank you. What I want you to do right now, lo que quiero que trabajemos ahorita mismo en su cuaderno, porque esto lo van a subir también en la platform, o los que ya lo trabajaron, pues excellent, all right? <clears throat> Para los que no, pues ahora lo vamos a trabajar. Quiero que completen number three, four, five, and six on your notebook. Question, answer, question, answer. Okay, let's work on it, please.
Have you finished? Oh, take. I take. Okay, I take that silence as a no. Voy a tomar ese silencio como que no han terminado todavía. I'm going to give you more time. Es que hay, tengo una consulta, teacher. Sure, let me know. Eh, estoy viendo ahí que tanto el reloj como el celular y los anteojos eh, sería solamente con el mismo ejemplo que tenemos arriba, porque arriba tenemos solo de 10 y 10. Uh -huh. Sí, es que solo Entonces, esos dos demonstratives estamos utilizando. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Sí. Pero igual, ¿cómo se llama? En, en, bueno, ninguno está, en, ¿cómo le podría decir? En plural. Eh, de hecho, sí, hay uno que está en plural. Ya lo sí, no, el, el, de, el de los tres, cuatro, cinco y seis, sí, sí, sí hay uno sí, que sí, está no. en plural. Uh, yes, only three and six is in plural, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, the rest is a singular. A question. Tell me. Number four is a clock or is a watch? It's a watch. Watch. Okay. Yes. Thank you. We usually call clock. Usualmente llamamos a los eh, clocks a los que son de pared. Uh, thank you. Welcome. And number three, I'm not sure the backpack. Sorry. Backpacks. Ah, thank you. Yes. También, bueno, he notado que a estas en los videos le llaman bags. De hecho, creo que en el ejercicio ustedes se lo va a tomar como bags. B Yo le había puesto bag. B -S. Ajá, es que creo que así se los toman, bags. Porque backpack <risa> es la que te pones hacia atrás. Right? Es la mochila. Ajá, exactly. Estas solo son bags. Esas parecen de cartera. <risa> son como bolsitas, ajá, exactly. Okay, have you finished? Yes. Perfect. Let me check who said yes. <coughs> Mario Molina, okay, perfect. Can you tell me number three, please? Me? Yes, you. Okay. Uh, what are these? Their bags. What are this? What are this? Oh, this or these? Ah, <laughs> es que bueno para mí es es this. <laughs> Porque pero, tiene la e, por eso lo lo asimila con this. Ajá, uh, okay. Pero no es this. This. Uh -huh. O sea, el que what tiene th 
Yes, está correcto, Mario, porque lo hizo plural, está correctísimo. Okay. El que tiene T-H-E, S-E, -E, S en inglés se pronuncia this, porque la E suena como la I, this. Ok, aunque se confunde con el otro this. Exacto. Pero usted me dice que el otro se dice this. Exactly, that's correct. Ok, ok. Yes. okay. Perfect, Mario, thank you. Let's go with number four. Uh, what about Kevin Ernesto, number fourth? What, what is it? What? Right. What's this? It's a watch. It's what? It's, it's watch. watch. No, it's a watch. Exactly. Thank you, it's Kevin. Correct. <clears throat> Let's go with Lisette Rodriguez, number six. What this? It's a crisis. Okay. Thank you, Lisette. Thank you for your effort. Veamos, Salvador, ¿qué tiene usted, Carlos Salvador, en number six? What, is, what are these? Mm -hmm. They are a glass. They're, ¿sí? They are a glass. No, they are glasses. Son glasses. All right. Thank you, Salvador. Sí está correcto porque es plural. All right. Glasses. Pero okay. a estos, como son lentes de sol, se le llaman sunglasses. <coughs> ¿Y, y, por qué son, ¿Y por qué sería plural si solo son un anteojo? O sea, pero es que usted en español también dice necesito un par de lentes. Ok. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. We have plural nouns that are not countable, right? Tenemos nouns que son plurales pero no son contables, podríamos decirlo así, ok? So, because we count the pair, solo sabemos que es una, una pareja, right? Es, es un glass, pero está hecho de dos for your eyes. So that's the reason why we call them sunglasses and it's plural. Very good, thank you. Now let's check the following. Yes or no were questions with B. All right. <clears throat> let's check the video. Vamos a irnos al video para ver la conversation. I'm going to share it with you. Voy a compartirlo con ustedes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. To be. Okay, that one I'm gonna share with you in the presentation. I just wanted to listen to you. I wanted to listen to the conversation. Las, las estructuras y siempre se las voy a presentar yo aquí. Y yo lo traigo dividido, así que creo que es mejor que lo copien de aquí de la PowerPoint. Ahorita solo les puse el video para escuchar la pronunciación. Once again, I'm going to do it by myself. Una vez más, voy a hacerlo yo mismo. Okay? We have Kate, Joe, and the waiter, el mesero. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No se pronuncia purse ni purse, se pronuncia purse, purse. 
No, they are not. They are gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are, thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute, that is my wallet. Okay, now it's your turn. Notice that you have a lot of questions. Ya a esta altura ya llevamos cuatro clases. Así que ustedes tienen que, ya lo hacían, de por sí desde la primera clase que tuve con ustedes, muchos dieron una entonación muy bonita a cada conversation. Pero siempre los voy a instar a que continúen así. Tenemos punctuation marks. Tenemos signos de puntuación, right? Uh, we have question marks. Tenemos signos de pregunta. Y tenemos exclamation marks. Signos de admiración. Let's use them when talking. Utilicémoslos cuando estemos hablando. Okay. Uh, let's go with Evelyn Flores. You are Kate. Uh, Jen C. Valle. You are yo. And William Castro. You are the waiter. Action. Oh no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? <coughs> no, they're not. They're gone. Is that they are on the table in the restaurant? Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it isn't. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait, wait a minute. That is, that is my wallet. Very good, excellent. Thank you, the three of you. Very good enthusiasm. All right, excellent. Good rhythm, enthusiasm, and good uh, pronunciation. Tres cosas. Mostraron entusiasmo, buen ritmo y buena pronunciación. Great. Uh, you were respecting the symbols and that's awesome. Respetaron los signos de puntuación y eso está excelente. Let's go with the next one. Los respetaron si pe sin perderle el sabor a la conversation. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Carlos Salvador. You are Joe. David Rosales. You are a, the waiter. Jackie, you are Kate. Action. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet, I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes. They are, thank you. See, sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joyce? In my pocket, uh, wait a minute. That's, that is my wallet. Very good, excellent. Thank you, the three of you. I don't know what happened, Carlos. You were good, but then you were down, like in the last sentence. We gotta keep working on it. Tenemos que continuar trabajando en eso. Eh, lo hicieron muy bien. Thank you so much. And let's move on. Now, eh, Jackie and David, great job with the pronunciation and also the intonation. Same as Carlos, all right? Thank you. Let's go with the next one. We're going to have Lisette Rodriguez, you are Kate. Manuel de Jesús, you are Joe. And Kevin Ernesto, you are the waiter. Oh no, where are my keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purses? No, they're not. They are coin. Uh, I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me. Uh, what, what is this? your case? Your case? 
Yes, they are. Thank you. Sí, no problem. And is this your girl? Um, no, it's not where. Is your wallet, Joy? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Thank you. Very good job. Well developed. Thank you. And just really said, repeat after me. No, it's not. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? Where, where is your wallet, Joe? Now you see, ya ve que si puede, very good. <laughs> eh, ¿Quién más me estaba ayudando con la parte de Joe? Creo que era... Manuel. Manuel, pero hay dos. Manuel de Jesús, Manuel de Jesús, right? Yes. yes. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, exactly. Wait a minute, all right? Very good, thank you. Wait a minute. Yes, that's thank correct. You. Thank you. Now, let's go. Miren, eh, algo que me funcionó bastante y funciona bastante en la gente regularmente es ponernos frente al espejo. De hecho, uno de ustedes hizo esa broma, me acuerdo, como en la segunda clase, que con quién practicaba, les dije yo, y me dijeron que con el espejo si contaba. All right, I remember clearly. Me recuerdo súper claro eso. De hecho, sí. All right, it's not a joke. No es broma. Sí pueden hacerlo con el espejo. Sobre todo cuando sienten ustedes que tienen problemas con las S. Por ejemplo, en El Salvador muchas veces eh, las personas no dicen nosotros, dicen nosotros o nosotros. Entonces, eh, es... All right, yeah. So it's kind of a problem. Es un, es un problema en realidad. Y se transmite cuando estamos hablando un segundo idioma también. Entonces podemos regularlo viéndonos en el espejo. Es como... Yo no sé si a ustedes les ha pasado, pero a veces la gente nos dice que no nos riamos mostrando las sencillas. Entonces, uno practica así, riéndose así, enfrente del espejo. That's perfect. Y eso funciona perfectamente. Lo mismo sucede con las R's, con las R's y con las S. All right. eh, ya les he comentado previamente que yo ten, solía tener ese problema con las R's. Me gustaba decir Carlos, All right, o where. Now you notice I see I did it perfectly, right? Ahora se notan, en realidad no se siente mucho ese cambio. Pero es algo que pueden vencer. It's not impossible. No es imposible, okay? You can do it. I'm pretty sure you can. Ustedes pueden hacerlo y estoy segura de eso. Now, I'm missing two people. Me hacen falta dos personas que serían Luis Rivas and Manuel Hernández, right? So... I'm going to be, no, yo no quiero ser Kate. Ah, me falta Karen. Karen Osorio, you are Kate. Manuel Hernández, you are Joe. Luis Rivas, you are mm, the waiter. Action. Oh, no. Where, where are my car, Kate? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, no, no they are. They gone. I bet they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your case? Yes, they are. Thank you. Si, sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. The three of you did an amazing job. Los tres hicieron un trabajo increíble. Thank you. Now, let's move on, my dear students. Vamos a la siguiente. Las conversations, they are not a waste of time. No son una pérdida de tiempo, right? Tenemos que tomarle mucho aprecio porque extractamos vocabulary, practicamos mejor nuestra manera de mover la boca al tener una conversation y sobre todo aprendemos a hablar, ¿ok? Yes or no were questions with me, ¿ok? Cuando dice yes or no se refiere a las preguntas con yes or no. Y cuando dice where son específicamente a las preguntas que, a las preguntas que inician con where. ¿Okay? 
and let me check. <clears throat> Let's start with David Rosales, please. Question and answer. Question and answer. Okay. Uh, is this your wallet? Yes, it is. No, it is not. Are this are these your keys? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Thank you. Carlos Salvador, where an answer? Okay, where is your wallet? It's in my pocket. Uh, the next? Mm -hmm. Where are my keys? They are on the table. Thank you, sir. Now, let's move on to the structure. Nos movemos a la estructura. Okay. Using this or these questions, yes or no <coughs> questions. Okay. Uh, let me listen to, vamos a pedirle a Mario Molina, léame la structure, please. Verb to be plus this. 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 <laughs> or this. Ah, push. This plus complements plus. Uh, question, mark. question mark. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. Sí, para los que no les había dicho, right? Bueno, creo que no habíamos visto una estructura que tuviera la pleca. Se dice um, slash, right? Pleca en inglés es slash. Pero no decimos this slash this. Decimos this or this. Porque estamos indicando que es cualquiera de esas dos opciones dependiendo del verb to be que usted va a utilizar. ¿Sí? Copy this on your notebook, please. Copiemos esta estructura en el cuaderno, por favor. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> Guiding examples. Um, Manuel Hernandez, please, question one and two. Is this your backpack? Are, are, these, are these your books? Yes, thank you, sir, that's correct. Practice time, David Rosales, instructions one and two. Only one and two. Work individuality. Individually. Work individually. Create one question using this or this. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Jensi Valle, number three and four. Remember the structure. Share your question with the class. Thank you. That's correct. Only one. Please, let's work on it. 
trabajemos, por favor, una pregunta utilizando this or this. Quiero ver si ya sabemos cómo jugar el verb to be con cualquiera de estos demonstratives. Okay, have you finished? Only one question, solo era una pregunta. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to pick and choose. Yo voy a escoger. Lisette Rodriguez, tell me your example, please. Are, are this? Are these your cars? Very good. Are these your cars? Thank you. Estamos hablando más de un auto. Very good. Karen Osorio, your example. Are, uh, is this your color? All right. Very good. Is this your color? Thank you. Jackie, your example. Are these your choice? Your choice or, or choose? Choice. Tus elecciones. Zapatos. Ah, choose, entonces. Choose. 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 Yes, shoes. Very good. Are these your shoes? Thank you. Correct. Evelyn Flores. Is your computer on the desk? Very good, excellent. And Luis Rivas, please. It is your, it is your book. Right, is, it, is this your book? Recuerda, estamos utilizando this. Yes. All right, my dear yeah. students, that's pretty much it for today's class. I'm gonna leave you now so that you can work on the platform. Los dejo ya para que trabajen en la plataforma, okay? Um, before I leave, ya casi se me olvidaba, tengo que tomar las, eh, la attendance, okay? So let me just check uh, quickly. Bueno, what I'm gonna do is gonna take the screenshot. Voy a tomarles la captura de quienes han estado aquí, right? So thank you so much for coming and I see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye everyone.